Hello friends, welcome to your own YouTube channel Achievers Data Engineering. My name is Gyan and in this video of Power BI Tips and Tricks, we are going to talk about how to extract numbers from a text column. So most of the time when we are working in Power BI, in Power Query Editor, we get into a situation like this. So we have a column which is a combination of maybe you know numbers, alphabets, or maybe special characters. And uh, there's a situation where we need either only you know alphabets like maybe a category or maybe we only need to extract numbers. So uh, how to extract only numbers in case we have a mixed up value like this? Let's uh, see that in practical in this video. So let's get started. All right, guys. So now I am already in a Power BI report and in Power Query Editor, and I have already chosen a, a demo data on which I'll go ahead and you know show you how can we achieve, uh, how can we extract actually numbers from a column like this, right? So uh, there, there is a situation where we get a column like this, or you know maybe sometimes we also get a column like uh, ABC one two three or maybe one two three ABC. We sometimes also get numbers like one, two, three dash A, B, C, right? However, when we have values like this, it's kind of pretty easy based upon, you know, the option that we already have in Power BI. So maybe in that situation, we can go on transform and select a split column. In that situation, maybe we can split by a delimiter, by number position or Maybe we can split by uh, digit to non-digit or maybe we can split by non-digit to digit. However, these things are going to work only in a situation where we have values kind of similar to this, right? However, when we have a situation like we have a mix up values, we don't know from where you know alphabets are starting or from where numbers are starting. So in that situation, we won't be able to use this split column functions in Power Query Editor and we will have to you know go for a function. So let's see that how can we achieve using a function. So I'll go ahead and create a duplicate so that I can you know keep this data study. And I'll remove rest of the columns just to keep it, you know, simple. All right. So now I have only one column on which we need to work. And I'll go ahead and click on add column and custom column. So let's name it as custom column one. And I'll use a function here that is text dot remove. All right. Now over here it says it will remove all the occurrence of a given characters or list of characters from input text value. So whatever we will pass in this function, it will remove those set of characters, a list of characters from the column that we are going to specify. So I'll go ahead and insert this column. And when it comes to what I want to remove, right? So uh, let's keep it simple as of now and i'll actually pass a to z so that we can remove all the alphabets all right close the parentheses and hit okay all right so now you can see that it has created a new column and it has removed all the alphabets now the only values remaining in this column is numbers and special characters right now if we want to remove everything apart from numbers and we want to retain only numbers then in that situation we will have to you know tweak this function a bit so uh, let's go ahead and create one more custom column and i'll name it as custom2 and let's again type the same function text dot remove and insert this column now in order to remove you know everything apart from numbers we will have to identify what you know what are other special characters or alphabets av available and then we will identi identify that we will pass that in this function and then the only thing remaining would be numbers right so in order to get everything uh, i'll write another text dot remove all right and again i'll pass this column and this time i'll say remove numbers so one so let's make it from zero to nine. All right. So what it will do, it will remove anything from zero to nine from this, this column and whatever would be remaining that would be, you know, uh, 
pass through this function so in order to pass everything we will have to convert and you know get those values in a list so i'll type text dot to list all right open the parentheses and close and one more bracket all right let's hit okay okay great so now you can see here in this way we have removed anything which is you know which is available in this column apart from numbers and we are end up with having numbers only all right guys so i hope it has given you understanding how can you go ahead and use you know query editor in order to remove any you know any other values available in column and you can only you know retain the numbers or vice versa so if you have any questions please do let me know in the comments i would love to answer that and if you like the content please don't forget to subscribe my channel to stay up to date on any latest video that i upload thank you for watching keep learning have a great day